Hello everyone, this is Parichita Priyadarsini, an agriculture research scientist by profession. I am here to share the strategies for cracking ICR, JRF, SRF and ARS examination. Before that, I would like to introduce myself briefly. I am Parichita from Odisha. I have completed my BSc from OUT Bhubaneswar. After that, I cracked uh, ICR, JRF exam with All India Rank 1 in Agriculture Biotechnology uh, Discipline. Uh, and I joined ICR IRI New Delhi for my MSc. For PhD, I joined the same institute uh, by cracking IRI PhD entrance exam with All India Rank 2. And I have also qualified SRF uh, exam with All India Rank 3. Currently, I am undergoing ARS training at NAM Hyderabad. So, this is all about me. Now, let's have a discussion about how to prepare for ICR JRF examination. For ICR JRF in Agriculture Biotechnology, it is very much necessary that your basics for biotechnology should be clear. Because in UG only one subject is dedicated, like only one uh, course is dedicated for Agriculture Biotechnology. So uh, for that you can go for uh, BD Singh's Expanding Horizon Biotechnology and Plant Biotechnology by HS Chawla. For plant physiology, you can go for uh, plant physiology by VK Jain. This is a very very important book because during my uh, JRF exam, most of the questions came from that book only. So don't skip any part of that book. Go A to Z of that book. And uh, for objective, I would recommend uh, for uh, uh, AgriFacts, uh, Biotechnology and Plant Physiology and uh, that is news visuals publication and for plant biochemistry you can go for lehinger's biochemistry and but i went for uh, that biochemistry by u chakrapani and satyanarayan uh, now coming to preparation for ars exam SRF exam and IRE PhD entrance exam. All the books that I have mentioned for uh, this uh, 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 JRF exam is also applicable for these exams also. But some additional book that I would recommend are um, Gene Cloning and DNA Analysis by T.A. Brown, Genome 3 by T.A. Brown, and then uh, uh, Genetics by Snustard and Siemens, then Marker Assisted Breeding by A.K. Singh and B.D. Singh, which has been recently published in 2016. And uh, that is a very important book for all re topics related to genetic markers and uh, marker assisted selections, QTL and all. Now coming to plant physiology, you can go for Tej and Jigar. And another book that is good for biochemistry and molecular biology is uh, molecular, uh, that is uh, Biochemistry and Molecular Biology of Plants by Puchanan. For ARS examination, uh, you can also go for uh, Biotechnology a Competitive Approach by Sudhir Kumar where you will get all the previous year's questions for ARS exam and also uh, a good book uh, for uh, this ARS exam is uh, Key Notes on Plant Biotechnology by Venkata Reddy. That is also a good standard book that you can also refer. So coming how to uh, coming to how to prepare for this uh, ARS exam, I must say that behind any uh, behind your success only one thing matters that is your hard work. If you do consistent hard work, then I guarantee that. All, all the success will be all yours so hard working is a must ARS exam is all about hard work so first of all go through the syllabus for agriculture biotechnology and, and don't skip a single word of that syllabus uh, make uh, as as much as note possible for each word in that syllabus for example uh, if there is a topical enzyme then you can uh, go study as many as many books you want in engine and make what will what will be the probable question for that uh, topic for like if you are going for engine what is engine what is the difference between engine and a catalyst and how, what is Michaelis maintenance equation like that so frame the questions accordingly and answer it for five mark question what will be the answer and for ten mark question what will be the answer for the same question Accordingly, uh, there are some question like uh, there are some topics like uh, oxidative phosphorylation and photophosphorylation. For that, the first question that comes into our mind is 
uh, what is the difference between uh, oxidative phosphorylation and photophosphorylation yes, try to collect uh, as much as many points as possible even if you are not able to get it then you can just google it there are plenty of uh, sites available for getting the difference between these topics uh, and there are also some topics which are not available in standard books so you, uh, the best way is to go for review papers in review papers you will get all the recent things about that topic and also all uh, the things will be all in representative form like in figures and in flowchart so you can directly uh, collect this information from the review paper uh, for, uh, personally I believe that review paper is the best for preparing these notes because um, all will write uh, things from book but what will make you unique uh, from the crowd is how you write uh, uniquely and representatively so uh, I would recommend to go for review paper as much as possible um, and the second thing is in ARS is your time management you have to attempt to questions of 240 marks uh, and having only time of 180 minutes so what matters is how you are managing your time so to manage time you have to write fast and also to, you should write very precise and cleanly don't write the things in like paragraph form try to write in bullet form and wherever possible please write the things in figure and flowchart form so be precise and be clean and try to manage your time because time is a constraint for ARS examination so this is all what I wanted to say in this video I hope this video will help you so all the best and do well thank you